Here we're going to be looking at admission of a new partner into a partnership. And for example, we're going to be looking at goodwill that's traceable to the new partner. And we're going to be using the goodwill method here. And when using the goodwill method, the total capital of the new partnership must approximate the, approximate the fair value of the partnership. So looking at our example here, we have our existing partnership here with partner A and partner B. And they have a total capital balance of $150,000. And their profit is allocated 50 50 here, 50 percent to A and 50 percent to B. Now we have partner C who is going to enter this partnership and they're going to make an investment of $20,000 to enter the partnership here and they're going to have an interest, a uh, capital interest here of 20 percent and a cap, uh, prof, uh, interest in profits here of 20 percent for making this $20,000 investment. So let's go down here and look at how we make our calculations for this. So the, we first we look at the book value of the original partners here. That's $150,000 here. Now we have the investment of the new partner C for $20,000 that they're going to make. So our total capital for the new partnership here would be $170,000. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go down and calculate the total implied fair value of the partnership here. And we're going to find out that we have a difference here. The, the total capital will be $170,000 and then total implied fair value is $187,500. So we have have a difference here of 17,500 that we have to account for. Now when we're using this good val good will method here, the total capital here of 170,000 really has to approximate or the total capital for the new partnership has to approximate the total implied fair value of the partnership here. So we have a difference here of 17,500 that we have to calculate. So let's go down and look at how we calculate the total implied fair value of the partnership. Now that's based on assuming that the net assets of the original partnership here between A and B are properly valued and should not be written down or written up. So our net assets are properly valued here. So based on that we can take the existing partner's capital. In this case they're going to have an 80% interest here after the uh, new partner is ent entering the partnership here. So a uh, new partner gets 20% and the existing partners would get 80%. Now based on that fact the $150,000 capital balance in the original partnership here divided by 80% gives us $187,500 as the value of the partnership or the implied value of our partnership here. So we take this, take a look at this up here, $187,500 for the implied partnership. Capital balance is $170,000. So we got this $17,500 difference. And that's really the goodwill that's traceable to the new partner here. That we're gonna, that's just the difference. $187,500 less the $170,000 here gives us $17,500. So the new and going through our logic here, the new partner C, C should have paid, or the new partner that's entering should have paid the 187500 here less the $150,000 capital amount here for the, uh, from the original partners here. So he should have paid $37,500 for entering the partnership here, but he only paid twenty thousand dollars. So there's there and where lies the goodwill here of seventeen thousand five hundred dollars. So let's go down and look at how we'd uh, uh, record the, this partner C's investment here. So they had assets or assets received from the partner C here would be debited for twenty thousand dollars increased for twenty thousand dollars and then we have this goodwill in here and that would be debited here increased for $17,500 and then capital C's uh, capital account here would be credited for $37,500 or increased for $37,500 here. Now this goodwill here, let's look at that. That goodwill is viewed as being purchased by the previous partnership in exchange for partnership equity here. And then one last thing here, looking at our partner C's capital account, we'll look at how we would calculate that here. And we'll take the original capital amount here of $150,000 for the original partnership here, plus the investment that C made here of $20,000, plus the goodwill that they're being allocated here for $17,500, gives us a total amount here of $187,500. Now that was the total implied fair value of the partnership.
partnership as well that we calculated here. So their interest, uh, partner C, or the new partner coming in, has a, would be receiving a 20% interest here. So 20% of the 187,500 gives them a capital balance here of 37,500. Now that's uh, partner C, is the new partner entering the partnership here. So we'll just go look and how that would be affect here, the, the new partnership when it comes to the capital balances. Now for our new partnership capital balances here. We have partner A, partner B, and partner C now with our new partnership here. So going back to our calculations here, our book value was uh, for original partners was 150000 An investment here by the new partner C was 20000 So our total capital amount was $170,000. But using the goodwill method here, we had to increase here our total capital up to 187500 And that was an allocation that was made here to the new partner C where they're going to receive goodwill that's traceable here for their entry into the partnership here. So let's go down here and look at our uh, capital balances here. Partner A would have the 60,000 capital balance here that was with the original amount here and then partner B would have their 90 thousand dollar capital balance again their original amount here and then partner C would have a uh, twenty thousand dollars here for the cash that they paid to any uh, to enter the partnership plus they were allocated seventeen thousand five hundred dollars worth of goodwill here so the total capital balance here for the new partnership is now eighty seven thousand five hundred dollars and that was and this is what the total implied fair value of the partnership is here so then again uh, the Partner C here, they have a total capital balance of, uh, and we can go down here and look at what we calculated here, of $37,500. Now that was based on the total uh, capital um, amount here for the partnership, the new partnership of $187,500 here times their 20% interest in the partnership, which gives them a $37,500 capital balance here. And uh, for the um, profit and loss ratios, again, partner C is going to receive 20% here. And based on what's remaining, uh, the other 80% was going to be divided evenly here between partner A and partner B. They were each going to get 40%. They had a 50-50 split in the old partnership and that just carries over here between the 80 percent that has to be split so the new partner C is going to receive a 20 percent interest in the profit here and they're going to have a 20 percent interest in the, in the capital amount here and then if we go back and we look at our capital amounts here partner A is going to have 32 percent of that and partner B is going to have 48 percent of that and that's based on the new capital balance here of $187,500. So that's how we'd handle this admission of a new partner into the partnership where there's goodwill that's traceable to the new partner. And in this case, it was that $17,500 worth of goodwill that was traceable into the partnership. And that was simply the difference between the total capital here of $170,000 and the total implied fair value of the partnership that we calculated here at $187,500.